Hey guys, it's time. It is finally the third place winner. I have created the first place winner. I have done the second place winner. And now we have got to the third place winner lightsaber designer of the design your own lightsaber competition. And I'll tell you what, guys, I can't wait to get this one done. We picked the first place winner, me and the judges, and then the public, they got to pick the second place winner. And you know what? There was a third uh, uh, saber I just absolutely loved the look of. I, I couldn't let the competition end at just two winners. I had to go and uh, give that other person a third place because I, I knew I had to make this hilt. It was a really nice design, absolutely worthy of first or second place. Um, and well, I, I went ahead and we're going to do it now. This is the video for the third place winner. So sit back, get ready, and you're going to see how I made the third place winner lightsaber. There are some bits I've not included, like uh, there's lots of f loads of sanding that I did to the, the, the emitter. Um, I've not included the paint job or the uh, weathering or the actual battle damage in this video. Um, but everything else is in here, so sit back and enjoy this new uh, lightsaber build. So here we are. Uh, this is the first time you have ever seen me use uh, software to actually uh, uh, design some parts. I have tried to remember to do this previously. For some reason, it didn't want to record properly, um, which is really frustrating. But it's just to give you a little idea of what I actually do when it comes to the 3D printing and how I put some parts together. Uh, that uh, orange section is for the emitter and the yellow is the pommel. Uh, so once it's designed, I take it over to Chitubox. Uh, and then once in Chitubox, I will then add the supports and the platform to uh, the part. So that when it's 3D printed, it all stays on and uh, can be printed correctly. Um, I do this manually. I find uh, Chitubox uh, a good piece of software but it is um, uh, its auto uh, auto function isn't particularly great uh, so I, I, I choose to do it myself um, rather than uh, rely on the uh, rely on the software um, it does take a little bit of time this has been speeded by 300 times the speed but uh, it, it's worth it it means that it comes out right every time it'd be nice if Chitu, if the software in Chitu box was a bit more in, uh, intuitive but you know it's it's free software and it's good software so uh, you know I'm, I'm more than happy to do this part manually so this is the uh, the pommel uh, I made a nice strong thick pommel for this and this is the emitter uh, that was the auto function um, and it's as you see it's not very good it's a little messy um, maybe it's a bit OCD of me but the way that I do it but uh, yeah it's it's better doing it that way at least you know it's right and everything is connected how you want it to be so uh yeah i then go and do it again manually I'm going dot, 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 dot. i make it all as equally spaced as possible again this is all speed up by three times the speed once this is done it's saved to a usb and then it goes to the 3d printer but i thought i would include this process so you can see how i actually do it because i always forget to uh, <laughs> always forget to show you guys the actual 3D pro uh, printing process that I have. So uh, yeah, uh, I find actually putting these in there is actually a lot better way of doing it. Uh, the reason for this part, it's not actually going to be used on the lightsaber. It was actually going to be uh, as a guide, like a ruler for me on the actual main part. Um, but uh, I ended up not needing to use it. I did it manually uh, by hand anyway. So. Maybe this was a waste of time, but I'm glad. I, I'm still glad even now that I did go through this process. So, yeah. And there they are. Uh, so at the moment, I'm now cutting out the main core of the uh, the lightsaber. This is the main body. Um, and this is what the whole thing is going to be made out from. Uh, and as always. 
give it a nice good sanding down make sure there's no sharp edges it's nice and smooth Uh, you may notice the vi the picture quality or the video quality uh, is, in my opinion at least, a lot higher quality than what these videos normally are. Um, and that is because uh, I'm not using the camcorder, I'm actually using my mobile phone which has a much higher spec uh, lens and camera on it. So uh, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you like the, this quality picture better? Do you think it's actually uh, a better picture quality? Uh, this section that we're cutting right now, that is actually for the switch section, which is in the middle of the lightsaber. Um, and I did actually have, the, on the design it had a, a little bit of detailing on the switch section. I just, uh, I, I did try doing and including this off camera, unfortunately it just didn't work and I wasn't able to, I just wasn't able to do it, unfortunately, it was a, a huge shame. So, uh, but again, as always, round off the edges, make sure they're safe, make sure there's no problems there, got to do it every time. Uh, and if you haven't seen them in previous videos, this is a section, this video, or this part where I want the video is hollowing out or increasing the internal diameter so that it can go over the main core of the body. Uh, and here we are, this is the emitter section. Um, so, it's, uh, uh, even though this has been speeded up to 300 times the speed, it is quite slow. Uh, going through all this, I mean this took a long time uh, to do um, but this is me cutting out the little vents for the windows uh, that are in the emitter um, and uh, like I say it does take, its, uh, just take some time but it's, it's worth it. Um, it it's an enjoyable process to be honest uh, I was hoping to bring this video out sooner unfortunately I have been working uh, full time now and uh, it, it does limit the amount of time I have uh, to do other things unfortunately but uh, I will keep on plodding I will keep on trying to do things I have got another build video coming out in the in this year um, as I want to build a um, a light up lava chest set which will be a gift for uh, my father at Christmas so that is something I'm wanting to do So that's something to look forward to. So this is just taking out the last part of the windows. Um, this is most probably the most, most nerve-wracking job because I have to try and get it so it's absolutely spot on each time. Um, and I did a good job of it uh, so yeah if you're enjoying this video if you have any questions or queries or if you want to even make a comment please do so I'd be more than happy to answer any questions uh, that you may have uh, I hope you're enjoying this um, I, I do like doing these build videos um, and I will be doing another uh, design your lightsaber competition in the near future um, at the moment I'm getting zero sales in so I'm not sure how to fund the next giveaway competition I don't know if it's maybe maybe should I charge or require like a five pound entry fee um, per design or per application I don't know uh, I'd rather not but with zero money and literally having no money in the company um, uh, it's, I'm not sure how to, to fund it, but we'll, we'll come to that at a, a later date. Uh, this video is nearly to an end for the build process. Um, I don't show everything, I only show you the, the bit to the... Uh, because um, there's a pommel that goes on and it's just glued in place, and the leather work is something I do off camera, uh, and also the battle scarring weathering I do off camera. Um, there's not a huge amount left to really show in this build video. Uh, this section I'm just cutting and 
sanding now that's actually the emitter housing for the blade so yeah um, there's not like I said there's not a huge amount left for me to show you unfortunately but this is the middle section and uh, I had to do this again like I said I did try doing this once off camera uh, it didn't work so I had to do the this section again and uh, obviously record it for you all but that's basically the end of the the build video um, can't even do that right you idiot then uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching the the creation of this hilt to this point um, it's something that I've really really enjoyed but I'm going to uh, go in a moment and we'll be going on to me actually having a go with the finish lightsaber uh, and then as well as that I will give you a good up close view so uh, I hope you enjoy the uh, the next section of this uh, this video guys okay so um, okay so let's give this a try shall we Because it's RGB, uh, you can get a lot of speed on this. It's very light. Uh, let's try a different profile. Double agent. What if you do the? Uh... <laughs> Not bad. And back to the studio. So, this is it. It's finished. And I have to say, there's a couple of things I really like about this hill. Um, he wanted to have uh, weathering on the uh, the actual on the uh, on the main part. So, I've put weathering on there. Um, these these red sections, I think we're kind of like maybe angled in. Um, but there's no way for me to do that. This is the only way I could put the red sections on there. But to be honest, considering what the design was, this is pretty close. But one of the things I love, and I really love about this hill, check out the stitching on the back. How nice is that stitching? Like the nicest stitching I have ever, ever done on a hilt in my entire life it does pops it looks awesome like Louis Vuitton type of stitching you know you can't let me just bring let me go move you over here oh look at this whole professional of me oh no right can you see it better now there you can see it better now look at that that is a look at that stitching oh it's beautiful I love it no, honestly really do really really do love that stitching uh, there was a little bit of a design uh, here uh, with a little kind of thing that came outside. I did try to do that, unfortunately, because it's so thin. Uh, I mean, I think this is like five mil thick. Uh, there's no way I could get it in, which was a shame. I did try. Uh, I actually ended up breaking one of these uh, trying to do it. So uh, it wasn't something I was able to do. Uh, so from the design, I spoke from the design. I spoke to him. He wanted this as leather, which is great. Uh, this is 3D printed, but it, uh, it's the exact same, uh, exact, um, it's identical to the drawing for the pommel. And it's a nice pommel, actually. I must admit, it, it does look nice. It's beefy. I made it maybe, uh, I made it a bit thicker. So it's really, really strong, um, but stood out and really bold. And I think it looks really nice. Uh, the gorgeous leather work, he wanted this to be leather, 
You can't weather the leather. You can't weather this leather um, just by the sheer nature of leather itself. Uh, being dark, you can't really see the, the weathering. Um, beautiful stitching, as I men may have mentioned already, but absolutely beautiful stitching on the back. I mean, it's, I think this is the nicest stitching I've ever done. Um, bit of battle damage here. Uh, and I quite like this, you've got the battle damage running across the side and onto the switch as well. So the switch actually has uh, battle damage too. And it looks really nice. Because uh, you wanted this to be battle damaged and this to be battle damaged. So uh, you've got some damage around the, uh, around the section here. Uh, more battle damage uh, on there as well. And yeah, it's very light. It's really nice. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to be very happy with it. So he's most probably going to see this video now. Uh, along with uh, uh, yourself uh, and everyone else. So... Oops. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I hope he likes it, uh, it's a, a fantastic entry uh, and as I said on the channel when it came in I just had to make it because it's a, a really really nice saber so um, it might not be exact like I said because this part, this second little bit is missing there's no way I could get it on, I did try um, oh look there's some damage on, uh, there's some damage just on that bit there as well I didn't even notice that I knew I, I know I built it, but you know, you forget things. Uh, I finished this off about a week ago, but uh, with me working full time, it made it a lot harder to uh, made it a lot harder to to get to do footage. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're near, very near, 900 subscribers. Uh, please like and share this video. Uh, it will be a huge help, and I will see you in f uh, the near future. I have got a, another build. I want to do before the end of this year which is a chest set which actually lights up and has like a, a, an on fire lava effect as well so uh, that is something I'm planning to do. Anyway guys thank you so much I will see you all next time.